What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So I wanted to discuss this, man, because I know a lot of people were saying that, you know, uh, I made the video saying that about Deontay Wilder being discredited due to the the um, the strength of the, the undercard and the card period, the event period, you know, as individual boxers. But one thing about it, I'm, this is I want to clarify it's a great event and now it just got even greater as individual boxers I was saying that it could discredit them as individual boxers when they go to negotiation from negotiation standpoints but as an event for a fan for an ongoing looker for, for myself for a uh, 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 um for myself, for other fans, you know, for media members, because at the end of the day, media members are fans as well. We may be journalists, you know, uh, we may be, uh, um, you know, getting these interviews, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, we still fans too. You know, it, it shows every day, every every uh, outing with Jim Lampley and HBO's broadcast. They have a hard time distinguishing the two, right? Because it's still excitement, it's still entertainment, and you're still a fan. And with that said, I want to say this. Al Heyman is throwing absolute bombs, no pun intended, and haymakers at Eddie Hearn. And Eddie Hearn is on the ropes at this point in time. Uh... Al Heyman is gonna. This shows that Al Heyman is gonna put on cards that is out the out out this stratosphere. That is, these cards have never been been seen before. They're extraterrestrials. They're foreign. They've never been seen before. And this is what Al Heyman is doing. Just like uh, Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. Well, I would say not Eddie Hearn. I would say Anthony Joshua put that offer of fifty million because he thought it was so far out of the stratosphere that uh, Wilder wouldn't be able to match it. He wouldn't be able to come up with it. Well, Eddie Hearn is looking at this situation because he just doesn't have the stable of fighters to compete with what Al Heyman and PBC is doing. Actually, nobody does. Not top rank, definitely not Golden Boy. Nobody does. And he's putting the competition on notice. We're putting this card on. It's just been rumored this morning. I, I read via Boxing Scene. You could go check this article out on Boxing Scene. Along with Adonis Donna Stevens scene, is going to be fighting on the free, uh, uh, televised. Well. You know, uh, you, your subscription to, to Showtime, but it's not going to be on the pay per view card. It's going to be leading up to it on free on Showtime. So you're going to be able to watch Adonna Stevenson defend his WBC title leading up to the Tyson Fury Deontay Wilder fight. Not to mention, they have rumored that Keith Thurman and, and Gavante Davis is close to being finalized. Hasn't been finalized yet as being on the undercard. But it's close to being finalized to being on the undercard. Keith Thurman. Along with all the other rumor fights. You know, I know it's, we heard the rumors of Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia. We heard the rumors of, of um, Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell. Gavante, Javante, Gavante, however people say, oh, that's not how you pronounce it. Tank Davis versus Abner Mares. I think Tank Davis versus Abner Mares is all but finalized. Um, Leo Santa Cruz, Gary Russell, not uh, hasn't been finalized as of yet, and Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia hasn't been finalized, but they're finalizing Adonna Stevenson leading up to that. Uh, I, I believe Tank Davis versus Abner Mares is all but final, all but announced, and that should be announced on Monday or Tuesday or sometime next week. The undercard will be announced because, as you know, the press conference is set for Monday uh, in London, Tuesday in New York, Wednesday in, in California. 
So Al Heyman is actually dropping bombs, napalm bombs on Eddie Hearn and his situation, man. He's he's obliterating the competition. I mean, it's not even worth trying to compete with him at this point. Because the type of cards and the type of events that he could put on, nobody could do. So it's it's pointless at this point in time to um to continue to, to balk up that tree. My advice is just leave well enough well enough alone, man. Just let it be. Just compete with everybody else and be yourself. Be the best uh Eddie Hearn, the zone matchroom that you could be. Be the best top ranked Bob Arum ESPN that you could be. Be the best Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, that you could be. Don't try to compete with, with Premier Boxing. Don't try to compete with Al Heyman. Because we see what happens. When you wake up a sleeping giant, this is how he responds. He's he's doing, num he's going to do, this card is going to do things that people have never done, never seen before. Everything else is going to be aftermath. Everything else is going to be a, a, a hangover. It's going to be, oh, let me watch this boxing event because there's nothing else on type of situation. Because you're going to be coming down from a high so high. It's like, you know, people say with it, when, they, when they're trying to get their first hit, when they, you know, that's where you get uh, fiends from, addicts. It's because they're chasing that first hit, that first high. You know, they get so high on that first high or so, you know, uh, drunk or whatever may have you, whatever, you know, uh, intoxicates them, that they continue to chase that first one. And you never really catch it. It's like a dog chasing his tail. You never really catch it, but you continue to chase it because you, you came down from that and you want to go back up there. So it's just the aftermath. You know, it's just the now you look bad. You know, you're just chasing your own tail. And that's kind of like this situation, man. After this situation, it's going to be like, where do we go from here? There's nothing above that. So now you're just going to settle for, okay, well, mediocrity is what it's going to boil down to. Everything else is going to be mediocrity. You've seen it before. You can't, it, 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 what could trump that? So my advice to all the other promoters in the sport of boxing, just leave well enough alone. Let it be. This is good for the fans. Actually, keep competing because it just makes it just that much more exciting for the fans, you know. But um, Al Heyman has absolutely dropped bombs on Eddie Hearn, and 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 the reason I keep bringing up Eddie Hearn in this situation is because Eddie Hearn was the one that keep that was targeting Al Heyman in the PBC, saying that he was coming to the U.S. and taking over. And, and and sweeping the carpet from sweeping the rug from out of the, under their feet, the PBC and Al Heyman, and we see that's not going to be true. But that's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. December first, Staples Center, California, man. It's going to be an epic night of the sport of boxing, man. It's going to be an event, not boxing. It's going to be an event, man. It's going to be like the Mardi Gras, man. But that's all I got. Also, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury press conference starts Monday in London, Tuesday, New York, Wednesday, California. That's all I got, man. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Make sure you like and share this video. That's all I got. Got to get back to work. Peace.